I sat on the edge of the chair, my heart pounding as I tried to process the whirlwind of events that had just unfolded in the doctor's office. My name is Jeff Clinton, and just a few minutes ago, I received my first female hormone shot in my left buttock. The reality of my situation was beginning to sink in, and I felt a mixture of fear, uncertainty, and curiosity about the journey ahead. At 17 years old, I had found myself at a crossroads. Convicted of stealing a car and joyriding around town, I was given an ultimatum, spend the next three years in prison or choose feminization. The decision wasn't easy, but the thought of prison terrified me more than the unknown path of becoming more feminine. I could already feel the subtle changes starting within me. Over the next few months, my body would begin to feminize, and I would have to adapt to a new identity and a new way of living. The weight of this transformation was heavy on my shoulders, but I knew it was a second chance, a chance to redefine myself and escape the harsh reality of a prison sentence. As I sat there, my mind raced with questions. What would my friends think? How would my family react? Would I be able to embrace this new identity and find a sense of peace within myself? Only time would tell, but I knew that this journey was mine to navigate, and I was determined to make the best of it. The first few weeks were the hardest. My body was changing, and with it, my emotions were all over the place. The hormones were doing their job, and I could see subtle differences in the mirror each day. My face was softening, my body was beginning to take on a more feminine shape, and I was starting to feel more comfortable in my own skin. To my surprise, my family was supportive. They had always been loving and understanding, and while it took some time for them to adjust, they stood by me. My mom even helped me with makeup tips and shopping for clothes, turning what could have been an awkward experience into a bonding one. My dad, initially quiet and unsure, gradually came around. He started calling me, his brave girl, and those words meant the world to me. My friends, too, were amazing. They embraced my new identity without hesitation. We laughed, hung out, and they treated me just as they always had. It felt good to be accepted and loved for who I was becoming, not just who I had been. As I settled into my new life, I found ways to give back to society. I volunteered at local shelters and participated in community events. Helping others gave me a sense of purpose and fulfillment. People began to know me as Jeff. Now Jess, the girl who was always ready to lend a hand and brighten someone's day. One evening, while volunteering at a community event, I met Alex. He was kind, funny, and we hit it off immediately. He didn't just see me as the new girl in town, he saw me for who I was inside and out. We started dating, and for the first time, I allowed myself to explore my sexuality fully and openly. With Alex, I felt cherished and accepted. Our relationship blossomed, and I found joy in the little things, holding hands, going on dates, sharing secrets. Being with him helped me embrace my femininity and sexuality. I was no longer afraid of the changes happening within me, instead, I welcomed them with open arms. In time, I became a pretty girl who was not only accepted but celebrated by those around me. My journey from a troubled youth to a confident young woman was filled with challenges, but it was also marked by incredible growth and love. I had found a supportive family, wonderful friends, a loving boyfriend, and a place in society where I could thrive. Through it all, I learned that true happiness comes from embracing who you are and finding those who love you unconditionally. My story was not just about feminization. It was about discovering my true self and living a life filled with love, acceptance, and purpose.